So as you're aware, the anti-gravity A1 launch date has been shifted in a good way, and it's now dropping sooner than expected. Because of that, it now lines up ahead of DJI's rumored Avata 360. If things stay on track, the A1 could actually become the first true consumer 360 drone to hit the market. Up until now, anyone wanting full 360 degree aerial footage had to rely on attachments like the Insta360 Sphere. No drone offered this from the start. Before we put them side by side, it helps to understand what kind of devices we're dealing with. These aren't your everyday drones with a single forward camera. They're built to give you total freedom in post-production. Both record the entire environment around them, and once the footage is captured, you can frame the shot however you want, rotate the angle, change the viewpoint, zoom in on tiny details, or build a completely new scene out of the same clip. The real power of 360 footage is that the creative decisions happen after the flight, not during it. They don't approach this in the same way though. Yes, they're both 360 drones, but the Avata 360 adds an FPV mode on top which opens up a different style of flying and filming. That doesn't make one better, just different. And remember, the A1 is still a prototype, while the Avata 360 is based on leaks. So nothing here is fully locked in. Let's start with weight. The anti-gravity A1 is confirmed to be under 250 grams, and the Avata 360 is expected to slide in under the same limit, meaning no FAA registration in most regions. Now, how each one shoots 360 degree. The A1 uses dual 1 over 1.28 inch fisheye sensors, top and bottom, constantly capturing the full sphere. Insta360's digital stitching handles the invisible drone effect, shooting it up to 8K 30 frames per second. The Avada 360, based on leaks, has dual 1 over 1.1 inch sensors. Based on the raw sensor size, the DJI Avada 360 has the technical advantage for better image quality, especially in low light. But there's another advantage, it can switch modes. You get regular forward-facing FPV footage in 4K at 120 frames per second, and you can switch to a full 360 degree view at 8K 50 frames per second. If the leaks pan out, it's giving you two filming styles in one drone, though we still don't know exactly how the switching works. Battery and flight time? The A1 is rumored to get around 29 minutes in ideal situations, which is strong for a sub-250 grams 360 drone. The Avata 360's leaked 38.67 watt-hour battery suggests roughly 25 minutes of flight time. Controllers are where the two brands take very different routes. Insta360 is pairing the A1 with its motion grip controller and vision goggles. Basically a point and go flying style that feels simple and intuitive. DJI keeps its classic ecosystem, a motion controller, their goggles, and the option of a stick-based controller if you want full manual input. Pricing-wise, the A1 kit, drone, goggles, controller, is expected to fall between $1,300 and $1,700. Leaks for the Avata 360 hint at a starting price around $999, though we're not sure what's included in that bundle. That's everything we know so far. As both drones get closer to launch, the full picture will get a lot clearer. But for now, this should give you a solid idea of what each one is trying to do. Peace.